we have a rare opportunity to see inside the Delta Wing and really talk about what makes it so special, what makes it unique. First, we've all seen the car. We know that it's beautiful. We know that it's different. But there are some fundamental things about the car that change everything. When you put the weight at the rear, when you put all the aerodynamics at the rear, you take so much of the work off the front. Let's have a look at these components. You've got a tiny little brake rotor, smaller than anything on a Formula One car. You've got very lightweight rod ends. If you come up and over here, you look at the suspension. Look at the size of these bolts. This is the steering bolts. These little clevises, these little rod ends. Very, very lightweight, very efficient. As we come back out here, we see a tiny little four-piston brake caliper. It's plenty of braking for the amount of weight on the front of the car. We've got a unique wheel and, of course, this four-inch wide front tire. So, with lower weight at the front, with the wheels placed closer together, now the focus has to go towards the rear of the car. That's where really the action is happening. On the way by, let's talk about this tub. This is now a brand new carbon fiber composite tub with an integrated roof that was built here in the United States by the Panos organization. As we look here, we can see the aerodynamics begin from the front. We've got a nice little chin spoiler. We've got the beginning of the under tray with a vortex generator here. Standard radiators left and right, pretty, pretty standard for the day. But this shaping here helps to create the airflow characteristics that go under the car and create massive downforce from these tunnels. We can see the vented rear tire, very standard for safety reasons. But let's talk about this weight. 75% of the weight of the car is centered at the rear axle. They've made changes to the tub to move the engine forward and move the car back to get all that weight over the rear tires. That's where the action is. The suspension geometry and all the actuation of the suspension, the way the dampers have been set up, is all about trying to deal with the rear of the car where all the action happens, to get enough roll damping in the car, to get a good balance, to get the ability to balance understeer versus oversteer, where in the past there was a fundamental understeer issue. As they've evolved the car now, it's very drivable, it's very tunable, it's become an exceptional race car. You can see here on the engine, turbocharger nice and high, intercooler, four-cylinder engine making plenty of power. And as we finish off here at the rear, we can see a very unique suspension geometry arrangement. We can see a standard diffuser, much like many other cars. But really, the magic of this car all relates to that 75% of the weight at the rear and all of the engineering compromises that have been taken and the engineering advantage that has been taken of that simplification of the race car, working with one axle and just having the front out there to help steer.